Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. Look what today's Creating Your First Altered Book is all about. Woo! We made pop-ups. Yes, we did. This piece is titled, If These Walls Could Talk. So there was a lot of different influences on this page. Um, the little guys were actually influenced by Suzette Morrow, S-U-Z-E-T-T-E-M-O-R-R-O-W. She had a video on creating the little ghosty figure guys. I completely changed the way that she applied them because hers you kind of had to read it um, they they're very up and down straight up and down I wanted these to be read as soon as you open the book so that you could see them completely um, so I did change uh, the process but the little idea of the little figures that was hers and I want to be sure to give her credit for that I took it and ran with it and um, I love what has happened with this page. Completely influenced by crumbling wallpaper. Um, oh, Patreons, you are going to get the template for making the little guys and the pop-ups. So, um, influenced by the new Tim Holtz um, ideology Halloween papers and the worn wallpaper. Uh, these are our Tim's uh, Halloween edition things. <sighs> Here's the background influence uh, Patreon. You'll also get those pictures. Patreon is $10 a month or $25 a month. I do have two tiers. Everybody gets the same content. Um, you also get access to everything that I've put onto the Patreon channel from the very beginning with the exclusion of the monthly pieces of artwork that I do post for you to be able to print off. Those are valued at at least $75 a month. Um, I put those up for one month only and then they go down. Other than that, uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of images. There are instructions, there are layouts, there are all sorts of... I put a lot of information on Patreon. You also get two videos every week. These are full length videos. So it's nothing that's like a, a five minute video. This is at least a 20 to 30 minute, if not longer, video. Two of them, one on creating your first altered book, one on masterclass. You do get exclusive videos. Also, with a $25 tier, you do get to have a face-to-face -face conversation with me every single month and we can discuss your artwork or whatever is going on in your world. It's really cool to get to know you guys and I really do love that. Um, please be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, add to playlist, all of those things, guys. Um, I am doing my darndest to bring you daily content, and it is very hard. So if you could please show your support for your channel, um, I would really appreciate that. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll chat soon. Hello artists. Okay, well, of course, uh, as luck would have it, this video to make the background is gone. It's completely 100% gone. I have no idea where it went to, uh, and so I need to redo it. So, let's redo this background. It was a really, you know, cool process. Just uh, really frustrating that I have to do it over again. Actually, I'm just going to use some white gesso on it. Um, I want that kind of that flat feeling there. The gesso is almost dried out. I'm just putting a little texture down. Actually, I could put Texture paste over the top of it here. The 
This is my um, homemade texture paste. I really like the, the feel of it, the way it dries. It dries quite quickly. And yes, I can mix my gesso in with it because texture paste has gesso in the mixture. So, uh, no, I don't want a ton of texture. Well, I kind of do want a bunch of texture under there. So let's go ahead and put it all over, I guess. Doing it differently than I did it the first time. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Actually, before that dries all the way, let's grab some uh, cheesecloth in here. See what we can do with it. I liked the, the texture that the cheesecloth gave. That's so there's but I need a better scissors. All right. I'm just gonna kind of push that down with some Mod Podge. This uh, texture paste is already drying. I mean, it's not completely dry, but it is already drying. And again, texture paste is a mixture of uh, gesso and Mod Podge and uh, other stuff so that it will all work together. It's a harmonious mix. All right, let it dry. So I'm bringing over a little bit more texture paste over the top of it. And what I'm trying to do here is just make it look like the wall is disintegrating. And this is a big flat palette knife. You could use your credit card or gift card or whatever you have to do this. Okay. That's actually really cool already and you could do something really fun with that just from painting techniques just from there. That's yeah, pretty cool. Maybe up close of the detail. That's perfect right in there. So we'll come back and add some wallpaper to it here in a little bit. Um, trying to think if I need smooth spots for the wallpaper. Okay. Okay. So before we get started with this, uh, I want to get some, this is not quite all the way dry. Uh, it's probably because I have that Mod Podge underneath of there. Let's go with the, the Dilusions uh, Vibrant Turquoise. And I'm putting it down here under some of these spots. I like this Vibrant Turquoise color, but you can use, you know, whatever. I'm just kind of going for this look under here. And the blue actually works really nicely with the oranges and browns that I'll put over the top of it. So 
I'm just kind of getting a, a base layer going underneath of all of this. All right, and then from here, I'm actually gonna give it a little squirt of water so to see if we can get it to kind of go. Now, I don't wanna add a ton of water to this, but I wanted to add some. kind of get this effect here. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add some um, spiced marmalade. You see that greeny brown that it just created? Very vintage color. It's a great color. I liked it, the more vibrant color, huh? I didn't want all the paint on it though. Oh, layers and layers and layers, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of this uh, ground espresso in here too, and just kind of uh, See if I can't get it to go along the cracks here a little bit. Mm, ink spray. Let's see if we can get this to happen. Let's bring in some more of the blue, wherever it went to. Here's the orange. That was pretty cool. Can you see where I'm going with that? Let's do something that's going to contrast. Okay, if you tear it towards you, you don't get the white edge. But sometimes that white edge is good too, especially when we're talking about wallpaper. But um, I'm wanting kind of a haphazard tear God, I hate covering up what I've done 
So now as we put Mod Podge on top of this ink that's down here, it will do interesting things to the Mod Podge as we know. We're going to do a quick brush of some gesso over this, or Mod Podge. Because honestly, this background is really too cool the way it is. I swear this was just working. Is it a different one? How is it that one thing? Oh, that's the one that doesn't work. Well, no, that one was working. All right, that's fired brick. mustard seed. That's pretty cool. Okay, artists. Well, I think this is really incredible as it is. I'm not going to put the wallpaper over the top of it like I did on this one. So, on this one, you can see more of the base layer. I probably should have made it more like this guy, I guess. I put the base layer down first. On this one, I just started building, uh, thinking that I would put the base layer in later. But uh, I put the base layer down first. And then I put the cheesecloth down. And then I put the pieces of uh, the wallpaper over the top of it just torn and then I did a lot of coloring which you'll see me do the coloring uh, I also used some white gesso up in these spots so as you can see it's a pretty similar look um, I really did like bringing that blue again that's the dilutions uh, vibrant turquoise it's a great color but um, yeah so any type of worn look that you can get is gonna be great um, I'm sorry that I don't have the exact replica of how I made this, but you saw how I tore the wallpaper and then I just had glued it down in bits and pieces and then, uh, you know, I just went from there. This is just as effective and just as easy. So if you don't have, you know, the wallpaper, you don't really need it. I think this is really gorgeous also. I almost like it better. I really can't say which one I like better. I think if I were to redo it again, I would put the base layer underneath and then build up from there because you would still see some of that lettering underneath. And then I think it would be really perfect. So, okay. Well, anyways, to the pop-up. All right. Uh, we'll chat soon, guys. Bye. Okay, artists, well, um, this is looking pretty cool, a uh, worn wallpaper. I'm just going to grab some of the Timber Brown. Now, if I remember right, this Timber Brown was just about out. But we want to see if we can't make this more worn looking here, more dirty and grungy and falling apart.